Today we have uh, Mr. Anirudh Amin, who is the Marketing and Business Development Manager for the SLS Corporation of So we would like to hear from you that what exactly SLS Corporation is doing in the renewable energy fund. Industry for 21 years now. Okay. Uh, focusing towards uh, you know make in India and the complete design and engineering of electronic devices. Electronic devices, uh, including the manufacturing, design, and development of um, such devices. We have 10 verticals under our um, SLS group. Sun sites focusing towards uh, renewable energy. So we are strong advocates of having a premium range of uh, products which focus more towards efficiency of the complete uh, product line, not just the um, uh, you know the renewable segment of it. So we have been active in this uh, renewable energy segment for past, uh, I believe, 10 years now. Uh, we have been focusing towards uh, design and development of micro inverters, uh, which is a concept uh, since ages now uh, in the Europe uh, segment. And we've introduced it to uh, the Indian segment as well, along with a few partners of ours. Um, so the whole crux of uh, having micro inverters is panel level monitoring of uh, you know the solar farms, uh, which helps us understand more towards uh, individual aspects of uh, the solar generation and not just the um, you know final end result of having net metering uh, in the solar segments. Uh, we are also active towards uh, the data logging segment, uh, the weather monitoring stations. So these are directly or indirectly impacting towards the generation of the complete solar plants. Uh, you know in heavy wind regions where uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat having a plenty of sunlight as well as uh, a good uh, you know wind flow. So there we are working on hybrid plants of having rooftop wind plus solar with the same micro inverters. So instead of having bulky systems on your rooftop with a small micro inverter, you could uh, you know manage better things. In electric vehicles, we are more focusing towards the charging because the check chicken and egg situation where you know there are no chargers, so there are no vehicles, and where the chargers are telling there are no vehicles, so there are no chargers. So uh, to just be a part of this ecosystem, we have uh, taken up uh, you know the initiative to develop and manufacture. Uh, electric vehicle charging stations in India for the Indian vehicles and Indian environment. Uh, so these are very specific uh, hybrid chargers uh, complying to the global compliances as well as the Indian ecosystem of having a build a uh, complete unit of uh, multi-protocol systems catering to two-wheelers, three-wheelers and four-wheelers and now moving towards bus charging as well. So uh, Worthy Mobility is the brand under which uh, we are promoting our electric vehicle charging stations. Uh, so. Electric vehicles are the future and the future is now, so uh, this is how we are contributing towards the charging infra and now slowly moving towards the automotive segment as well where uh, we will be designing the electronic systems for the two-wheelers as well as the four-wheelers. So how we see ourselves is uh, not competing towards uh, you know the MNCs or any other uh, startups. So uh, the collaborative approach that we've uh, you know designed ourselves or positioned into uh, since past 20 years is in collaboration with all the uh, big companies as well as small. So big companies definitely we have a lot of uh, you know information uh, or a lot of uh, things that we have to learn from them in terms of processes or the technology development. So we don't look at them as competition but as uh, you know partner segments where we could you know be a part of their small solutions. They might be working on gigawatt uh, based projects but even one megawatt of uh, project for us could uh, really boost us. So, uh, it's a collaborative approach and not uh, competitive when we'll deep dive into um, you know the ground reality of uh, working with such companies we have been working with almost all the fortune 500 companies and it has been a, a beautiful experience and the support that we've received from them um, is, is exceptional i would say so uh, the campaign is called electrify anand 2025 where we are launching our hybrid charges so these charges will be focusing towards two wheeler, three wheeler, and the four wheeler segment uh, to enable uh, you know these tire to tire three cities, where we've observed that two wheeler um, adoption is at a higher rate than the metro. So the campaign would focus towards uh, building Anand as a hub of electric uh, charging station, where you know there are uh, a lot of uh, daily travels, students traveling from say 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers from Anand to Vadodara. So this could be a hub for them to uh, you know charge their vehicles and. The plan is to have almost 500 charging stations within a period of, uh, you know, four years. And thankfully, we've received a lot of, uh, you know, support from government as well as private corporations. The capex investment uh, would be around 100 uh, crores uh, to completely transform Anand into uh, uh, electric charging hub. Uh, but it's not more towards the capex that we are investing uh, right now. But uh, you know, smaller segment does not require so much of uh, capex investment. Campaigns 
idea was uh, to replicate what was happening already in metro cities. So we have seen, uh, you know, policies um, released by Telangana, Delhi, Maharashtra and all of these. So we have tried to adopt the same towards the Tier 2, Tier 3 cities. And I believe, uh, you know, India's strength was in the Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities where, um, you know, people were more focused towards the agricultural economy. Now we are trying to, you know, focus the same towards electrifying those, um, you know, Tier 2, Tier 3 cities. And I believe a lot of other uh, smaller cities in other regions could also replicate the same uh, towards, uh, uh, you know, the same thing. We have partnered uh, Pan India for, uh, you know, with the service providers as well as the manufacturers. Uh, we are already working with a lot of players in South uh, for the same implementation. We are working uh, uh, with NH for EV, uh, with ASAR, uh, which is already focusing towards highways. Uh, so, uh, in between highways also, there will be a lot of smaller towns where, you know, we could implement the same uh, towards the deeper insides of the city and not just the highways. So, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Amin. It was uh, great talking with you.